beer. Reinvented and marketed by pubs as a plowman's lunch in the 60s, I'm now giving it my 21st century take. Right, plowman's with the most amazing but super simple beer baked bread, hearty and full of flavour. For a really quick and easy bread dough, sieve a mix of wholemeal and self-raising white flour with a good pinch of salt. Salt is really important the bread. It's the first thing I do once I've cracked it and smelt. You want to smell that salt baked throughout. Beer in, about 250 mils of beer. And the reason why this recipe works so well is that the beer, it's got that yeast. So naturally, it's going to work beautifully. Give that a really good mix. I'm looking for the mixture to be quite wet. If the dough becomes too firm, then it's going to cook dry in the center. Just as it starts to fall through the whisk, that is perfect. Beautiful. This mix will work really well as one large loaf, but I want to make my plowman's a little bit more special. Small tins give it that kind of intimacy. And I quite like having my own little loaf. Give the molds a really nice lining with butter. Make sure you butter the top. Now, tablespoon of flour. Dust inside the mold. That will stop your mixture sticking. Tap out any excess. Three quarters fill your little molds. And we're gonna allow it to sort of rise just so it comes above the mold and forms this really nice miniature loaf. Onto the tray, centimeter apart. Into the oven, 25 to 30 minutes at 180. Something quite nice about the smell of home-baked bread in the kitchen, delicious. No plowman's is complete without pickled onions. Red onion is a lot sweeter, less harsh than a white onion. The early days of plowman's, you've got those ghastly, sharp pickled onions that make you almost cry when you're crunching them. I'm gonna lightly pickle my red onion. Just push your fingers through so you get these nice sort of onion rings. A little touch of salt, a little sprinkle of sugar, and then a couple of cloves in there. That gives it a really nice sort of perfume and sort of makes the pickling slightly more mellow. Red wine vinegar. Now, if you haven't got red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, it's just as good, but red matches the red onion, so it goes hand in glove. A couple of tablespoons of vinegar. Just give that a really good mix. To speed up the pickling process, use a weight to put pressure on the onions. As the weight presses down on the onions, the clove, the salt, the sugar, the vinegar work their magic. And it comes out with a really nice, light, fragrant pickle. For my 21st century plowman's, I'm creating an all-in-one salad and bringing the traditional elements together with a punchy dressing. A tablespoon of English mustard, a tablespoon of honey, a touch of salt and pepper, and finish off with white wine vinegar and olive oil. Now, generally, it's sort of three parts oil to one part vinegar. That's the sort of general base. Mm. You don't really think of a vinaigrette with a plowman's, but this is a really nice sort of modern approach to a plowman's. For my plowman's salad, I'm using a mixture of robust and crunchy romaine lettuce and punchy watercress. If I was making a watercress soup, I'd use the stalks. But the stalks are a little bit bitter, so I just grab them like that, pinch them, and then twist. Mm. Very peppery, very hot, but so juicy. Watercress in, your celery, chop it nice and finely. It's the one thing that everybody leaves is that stick of celery, so scatter it amongst the salad. A bit of oomph and color from some sliced radishes, and sweetness from a thinly sliced apple. Whilst you're busy throwing your plowman's salad together, do not forget about your beer bread. Before it comes out, I'm gonna glaze the top with a little touch of milk. That'll put a really nice finish to the bread. Back in for the last five minutes. Now for the magic in the plowman's. Generally, you'll see it as a ham or cheddar or Stilton plowman's. It's hard to dictate which one's the best. So, for the ultimate plowman's, I'm adding all three. With your cheddar, peel. Some nice shards of that delicious, creamy cheddar. Just get them dancing on top. The dressing, drizzle round in circles. And then finally, our delicious, lightly pickled onions. Give them a good squeeze. 
and look, just dot the onions around. Bread is ready. It's got that nice, yeasty smell. Warm, crusty, and delicious. And there you go. That is my classic, modern version of a traditional, stunning Plowman's. Wow. My delicious all-in-one Plowman salad with individual beer bread loaves, updated for the 21st century. Next up, it's the ultimate roast beef dinner with a twist. This would be amazing. It's incredible. And my eldest daughter, Megan, finds out it takes a bit of muscle to be a pro chef tosser. <laughs> 